everybody. Sorry that we're a little bit late tonight, but as you can see, I've got a very rowdy lot here with me tonight. Today is the Rowdy. Global Trumpet Hangout, and someone has their iPad on, and I can hear me twice. Ah, no, there we go. It's gone. <laughs> Hi, handsome <laughs> team. It's very early in the morning. Thank you for getting up. I think it's five o'clock <coughs> in Melbourne. <laughs> we got here. We got here. <laughs> and look at look at these wonderful gentlemen here on screen with me. Joe Alessi, welcome. Thank you. Welcome Great from to be New here. York. Charlie, where are you? In Chicago? Yes. Welcome, Charlie Ooh. Vernon. And Christian Thank Lindberg you. from his paradise in Sweden. Hey guys. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> how how are you feeling seeing each other right now? Unbelievable. Great. I haven't seen Joe for for ages. Last time was in Alicante, I think. Uh, Charlie, I've seen a little bit, little bit more, but still a long time ago. Yes, oh, yes, in, uh, in uh, Japan. Yeah, oh, and this is right. the most uh, drinking, drinking in Japan with uh, you. Tell us, <laughs> tell us more. Tell us more. Well, we were drinking water. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> water. What are yeah, you right. drinking? What are you drinking today, guys? You got oh, two right, drinks. This moment, yeah. It's just water. Or hang out. Uh, Oh, Joe, I'm but honored. Not the scotch. Oh, yeah, Joe is in the middle of the day. Now, I have my nine o'clock beer and wine. Always in combination. Do you drink beer Excellent. at nine o'clock with wine usually? Or? Yeah, I, I, I have one sip of beer and one sip of wine, and it's really fantastic. <laughs> That's it. And you throw the rest out? Sorry? You throw, you throw the rest out? Just one sip? No, no, no. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> So everybody who's watching the Horn Hangouts, welcome. We've just gone live on Facebook, so it's great to see you there. Write in and tell us where you're watching from, because we'd love to know. I've got all my loyal Horn Hangout viewers. Thank you for joining us today, and welcome to any new trombone players who've never watched a live Horn Hangout. I'm sure you have, because, I mean, Joe, your Horn Hangout is one of the most watched Horn Hangouts of all times. Valentine's uh, Day. <laughs> yeah. That was really absolutely. nice. That was really nice. You were my val. Well, you were sort of my Valentine. You, you your wife's right. Valentine, but I got right. to my wife's not watching. So yeah, you. It's okay. You, it, for that it was, moment, you were my Valentine. So it was very <laughs> romantic. Charlie, last time I saw you was in Miami backstage. Do you remember? Yes, yes. We were on tour of Chicago Symphony, and uh, no, I think the last time I saw you, we were at a party afterwards. I wasn't. Gonna, I wasn't going to mention that. Oh, well, yeah, no, but there was all of us there, and it, it was fun. It was great it was, seeing you again. It was nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the party's hey, getting bigger. Hey, look at this. Hi, everybody. Oh, my. Ah, look. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. All these mystery oh, people. My goodness. Mystery yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, Mike. Hi. Hello, Mike. Hi. <laughs> and it says you're Johanna on your on your screen. Hi, Johanna. Well, that's an improvement. <laughs> Hello there. How are you guys? Hey guys. Miss uh, Hey Stefan, you're the only yes. one with the same hair as before the lockdown. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, I said let's put, let's put, let's put <laughs> Stefan's <laughs> let's put Stefan's hair on Charlie's head. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Perfect. We, we hey guys, maybe, we maybe could if the if the boxes start shifting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're missing three. Are we two? Are we missing? Oh, this hey, is Christian. a real. This is a real mystery. Hi, here. Christian. Hello. <laughs> I haven't seen you for so long. It was great to such see you. a long time ago. I know. It's oh, great to God. see you. Yes, great to see you, Stefan. Oh, Hey, hey Sultan and Yes. Well. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, look at oh. this. David. Hi everybody. Hi David. Hello. See you all. Hey. Hello. Hey, hey Jesper. Hey, hey Michael. Michael. Cheers, Stefan. everybody. Hey, hey Christian. Hey, Sultan. 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 <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, this is it's like heaven. It's, it's like your again. So, Sultan, did you learn the beer and wine thing from Christian? Yes, and many more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, David. Hi, I'm Michael. How are you doing, man? How are you going? Good cool. to see you. So, why is it? Hi, Jorgen, Sultan. What have you Hi, how are you? Yeah, man. I'm Hi. doing fine. Yes, you know. 
in an Good. unusual cloudy day here in Los Angeles, but. There's so, there's cloudy day in Los Angeles. Ah, and oh, finally, yeah, I was getting girl. worried. Carol, welcome. Carol, yes. Carol, where are you? Hey, everyone. Hey, look, I can't see you. Where are you? I'm welcome, trying to be here. There you are. Hi, hi, Carol. Now, Carol, Carol, and I have actually never met. Um, which is weird because we stand a lot in front of a camera and talk into a microphone about our beloved instruments. So I admire <laughs> so much what you do, Carol. It's really great to meet you. Oh, finally. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm in awe. No, 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 no. So what are you drinking today? We were all just saying cheers. So what are you drinking today? Ah, <laughs> look at that. Right from the bottle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. The girl. Oh, yes. Other girl. Oh, so, that's great. Listen, guys and gals, this gets t t totally chaotic. It's fantastic to see you all. But actually, but. Joe, may I say thank you very much for helping me out uh, to organize all this. Because sure, my pleasure. It, to, you, do this, I mean, to do this with all these yeah. people, it's just a dream come true, really. It's and you wouldn't believe where everyone is watching from. It's really, I'll, you get to see, if you're watching on, on Facebook, write in and tell us where you're watching from. If you want to ask anybody any questions, hop over to the website because I have the, I have the questions all here with me. They're going past like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so I don't think we're going to get too much. But first of all, I just, prefer, I just want to hear, where's the last time everybody <sighs> saw each other? Or who doesn't know each other? Oh, man. Oh, uh, I... I have never met Sultan and I have never met Carol. Carol, we should have met in Dublin brass week, but I'm, I think you got ill or something. I was last, last June, right? Yeah, I was at the Tchaikovsky competition with Ian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian and Jürgen. Yes, yes, oh, yes okay. Jürgen yes, went well, really yes. ill. And you remember? And I also had this uh, terrible throw up thing. You, re you remember? You were yeah, sorry for the that. wine and beer or what? It was the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> vodka. No, it was terrible. I felt sorry for you. I had to. You were really bad. Hey, yes, bro. Yep. I was just thinking about you this afternoon because I realized the last time I saw you, I lost the ability to speak. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I think I do, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Impossible. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That was a good Christmas, huh? <laughs> Um, how did you suddenly were you said, Ill, Ill, I can't or, speak anymore? Was it glue vine or what was it? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to go into that. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, nobody's watching. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw Mick at the uh, O'Hare Airport. I was coming in and he was going out. That was, that was, no, or was it the other way, other way around? Yeah, that was back in the olden days of airplane flight. Yes. Yeah. We'll never see those days again. Back to the ships. <laughs> no, well, not the ships, not the ships. Ship. I'll the never worst. go on a ship. I'll never oh, go on a shoot. ship, ever. That was a bad idea, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Cook County it is. Yeah, uh, that's yes. right, that's right. There's, that's there's, right. Snow out, there's snow outside, it's nice and cloudy. When was oh, the last perfect. time you and when was the last time you and Charlie played together? It was exactly on the twelfth of March. Was the last service of the CSO? Oh. Right, rehearsal. Yeah, I think Ian wanted to make a little joke about that. No, no, he didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, was the same for us. But that wouldn't be March fair. Would was it? about the same for us. Gergiev was. We did a rehearsal and then we didn't do the concert and that was it. Oh. Yeah, same here. Ian, it was Ian. very strange because our orchestra didn't bring up publicly the fact that we were going to cancel with any kind of notice. And I kept saying to the personnel manager, surely we're, we're going to hang up our boots soon. Everyone's canceling. What's going on? And it didn't happen until about five or six o'clock on the day. Yeah, of that. Yeah. It was very sudden. It was weird. Yeah. Ours was yeah. too, and we ended up we ended up playing the concert anyway, but to a completely empty Philharmonie. It was very weird. We all got dressed. Well, up. I'm sure people showed up for the concert that had no clue. So that always goes down well. It goes down really well. <laughs> In Los Angeles, we uh, stopped playing while we were doing um, uh, shows for kids. So the the kind of sad thing is that some of our colleagues retired uh, this summer. Uh, their last show they have ever played with the orchestra is just a show like for for kids and so oh. some of them were like very sad about that yeah i, I, I was looking forward to guru leader with you guys so much in may 
That was going to be yes. an amazing concert. Uh, and the, uh, the, Lyric, the Lyric Opera here in Chicago were just about to launch the ring and they lost the whole thing. And they've been yeah. building they've been building it up one opera uh, every year and they're meant to do a bunch of cycles this year and they lost the whole thing. It's very, very depressing. Wow. It's really yeah. Soltan, how's, how are you doing? How's Mnozel doing? How are you guys? Oh, yeah, it's good. Everybody's... Uh... At home, everybody's enjoying the family time. Actually, it's pretty positive between us. Uh, we just set out a meeting we're going to have in two weeks. We're going to uh, meet in a square in Vienna, in two meters from each other, and we're going to have we. The last number was three bottles of wine. Yeah. <laughs> can you can can I come and live stream it? Um. Yeah. You're very you're very welcome. I don't know. Your between seven people is that, are you slacking <laughs> well i mean there was like it would be nice to have an, a good bottle of wine and meet somewhere in a proper distance from each other and somebody said yeah let's make it too and i think it was already like five six emails conversation and i just said hey guys always good by me and by the way three and this was my email so it's, it's pretty much it's, I think it's gonna gonna go up to seven at least. So we, this Gerhard uh, has to ha travel from Salzburg, so that's gonna be that's why he said let's wait two weeks. And we, 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 um, does but it's pretty. Long, does it take that long to go from from Salzburg to Vienna? <laughs> with, with a bike? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said he just said yeah. He just said just to be sure. Uh, it's I think it's three hundred k's. Uh, it's already it's 300 kilometers so and he's he's a crazy biker so definitely not two weeks he would kind of he would make it in a couple of days wow. if not less than, okay. yeah so yeah but my last gig was playing in warsaw in women's day in a full full sold out jazz club improvising on the trumpet <laughs> that was my <laughs> last gig yeah it's coming back coming back and getting ready for the u.s tour uh, to play in Las Vegas and then teach in UCLA and and it was just all, yeah, that's it. That does, yeah. We were waiting a few days. Go, not go. Let's see what what, what what's gonna happen and and just just like that. No concerts. Then announcement. No concerts. End of April. No concerts. And now we see that uh, Merkel said that there's no entertainment. For big, we, we'll see. Crowd for eighteen months. We'll oh see. my God. That, that's, not, that's not definite. I mean, that's not. We don't know quite what that means. It means they said big gatherings, but is that? Full I know it's like probably the soccer games and stuff. Yeah, we'll Maybe see. stadium. How about how about jazz clubs, Niels? What's going on there? How are um, you doing? I, I couldn't really say because I, uh, I I don't play that much in jazz clubs. I, play more in I know you don't. You play on huge. You you're actually on the same level as the as the football stadiums with your. No no no. But I'm I, I'm not trying to be like. Yes, you know, <laughs> or oh, it's okay. Just tell anything us. else than being a trauma <laughs> player. Be cheers, by the way. I'm drinking Polish uh, brass <laughs> <Polish. laughs> Yes, wonderful. Uh, well, on our side today, we uh, actually cancelled my jazz festival, Jazz Baltica, uh, at, uh, in Germany, as well as the Schleswig Holstein Music Festival, which is my um, the head of. Uh, let's say we work together. Well, just politics apart. So, so that's uh, and that's that's till the end of August. That's gone uh -oh. too. Mick, Mick's leaving the room. You bored uh, he got pissed <laughs> off. He's that's drinking not... brass polish. I guess. Not... <laughs> hey, no common situation, sir. Hey, no hey Niels, I think I think that these people didn't get the memo about the quarantine outfit. Uh, it's only you and, and I. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. But I think. Oh, Mick. Mick yeah. You know, Mick is good. He changed into his horn hangout t shirt. I was very. Uh, I was very look, Sarah, I have similar colors. Just... Oh, yeah, similar colors. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, well, so, Tom, you already asked. Oh, no, somebody already asked if that was a trombone on my t shirt. So I'll just pull it up a bit. I think. What does my uh, okay. yeah. That spot yeah, the t shirt. Look at the t shirt. Look. Uh, 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 I never got one. 
<laughs> well, you, oh, you didn't? Oh, yeah, you were one of my first. Know, hint, hint. No. Okay. All right. Know. All right. <laughs> we can do that. Mick, thank you very much for wearing the, the, the others didn't get the memo, but thank you. I uh, yeah. it's it's actually one of my favorite t-shirts and whenever people see it they they always are surprised at how tasteful it is it is very tasteful <laughs> they're not used to seeing that from me you see Stefan <laughs> <laughs> and Jesper it's so nice to see you guys I really miss you yeah, just we miss you too yeah. And Stefan <laughs> liebe Kollege du sitzt da ganz still Stefan, what happened with that recording we did in uh, December? Is it? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, still in the. Ah. <laughs> it's Actually, somewhere in the bin. We, we have people writing in, and yeah. Roger Cutts, who I was in National Youth Orchestra with, he's just asked, how about a remote recording with all of you? So I think, Christian, you're Mr. Um, uh, recording, you 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 travel with six cameras and eighteen microphones on. <laughs> um, so how about that, guys? We could already. Ready, one, two, ready, play. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good one. That He's yesterday? the best so far. I heard from everybody. I had all my mics up here. Yep. It's, right. it's, all, it's all there. I'm, I'm going to, to edit and mix it now tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, put it out on Spotify tomorrow. <laughs> take, take hey, one. Of all the people on quarantine, I, I've never seen anyone as busy as Christian, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, ever it's, it's so much fun to, to uh, be in control also of the sound. It's amazing. Yeah. This uh, new. Yeah, but at least now you've got all, all the time to do it. And how do you, Christian's very famous for his daily routine. I'm sure you all know the video. If you don't, you can someone post it in the chat. But how are you, do, are you doing that daily routine now? Yeah, it's a perfect time to do it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I basically go up the same time and I go to bed the same time. And then I put is, eat at the same time, <laughs> things like that. But, and then I vary a little bit. So if I practice, if I have more practice uh, some days, now I practice more than reading scores. I mean, there's no reason reading scores, but I practice a lot and I do. It's, it's really, really fantastic to have this time. And I think everyone, I hope everyone can enjoy also the fact that you wind down and we, Maybe we, it, it, it's, it's terrible to say, but, but many of us, we need this as human beings. It's true, absolutely right. So, hands up everybody who's practicing a lot. Ian! <laughs> Ian, you better practice! <laughs> now, British people, British people are always pretending they never practice. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> Here, here, here. I discovered that I am a needs based practicer. If, it, if I need to do it, I do it. So, but I, I hey, Sarah, can we have a definition of uh, a lot? Like, <laughs> practicing a lot, how much is that? I really hate. Look, look, my students are, are probably watching this. I don't want to tell them how, how much I'm practicing, you know. <laughs> speaking, speaking of the students, you know, but I told them that. You know, you don't have to perform at all. So this is a great time to experiment with whatever, you know, a new armature, whatever you want to do. Nobody's going to be able to hear you for a long time. So yeah, I said the same thing. That's right. Yeah. You no, know, how are you? How are you dealing with your students? Are you teaching online? Are you Are you leaving them alone? Are you Are they sending you recording? Because Ian. Uh, they yeah, they do. Them. They send in recordings, uh, so I can hear exactly what's going on. Because with the Zoom, you know, no matter what connection you have, it skips around and goes slow and fast and Matter of fact, when it, when I first started doing it, I started saying, "Hey, your rhythm is really not good here," you know. And so, <laughs> then I realized, well, it's not their fault. And then uh, so they send me the recordings, and then we we talk about the recordings. We go back and forth. They play, and you know, it's working out very nicely. I do one a day, which is plenty, and um, you know, and then I can do whatever I want the rest of the day. Practice. Exactly. Practice or drink or. Jurgen. You've yeah. been so quiet. I'm listening. I saw you just drinking. <laughs> yeah, listening and drinking. That's nice. Tell us. Are you how doing? Yeah. How, how's it going? 
Yeah, how's it, how's it going? How's Amsterdam? Because last time I saw you, you were actually Joe's Valentine on the Hangout. Do you remember? That's true. Oh, yes. True. Oh, great, yeah. No, Amsterdam is fine under the circumstances. We were similar to, to what you said. We had a concert with Tchaikovsky 6 with Beach Club, and we were going to have three concerts more. And about two, three hours before the concert, there was the, the government announced uh, that all concerts and events were cancelled. So we were almost like on the way to the concert hall and then we couldn't play. And since then, I, I, I'm teaching, like Joe says, with my students, I, they send in recordings. We teach over Zoom. We do some group sessions over Zoom. And um, I'm, the first week, I was rather busy with homeschooling the kids. Wow. Which is uh, three small kids at home, which is no, fantastic. I, I, I agree very much with uh, with Christian. It's actually also uh, how terrible it is. It's also somehow great to be at home for such a long time and enjoy the family. What did you yeah. learn, Jorgen? What did you learn, math or geography? I, I learned actually that they actually learn things in school. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, <laughs> it's it's actually interesting. But I have a lot of respect for the teachers because they, within a few days they had a complete <laughs> distance learning system. And but still, of course, they they, they need the parents a bit for that. So uh, and I'm I'm busy with committees in the orchestra trying to to think of what we can do, what we cannot do. I mean, the artistic committee there, and we we are just making <clears throat> plans for sort of guessing when which regulations can go down and where we can do something again and uh, I'm yeah. practicing a bit it I was that's why I was saying a bit like half half in a way I'm practicing a lot there's uh, many moments during the year when we are very busy you always think oh, it would be so great to have once a few months doing nothing else and really all these problems I have all these things I really want to fix but there's never time and now I have the time <laughs> <laughs> it's not <okay. laughs> so slowly i'm coming to the point where i i, I emptied my mind we we completely uh, you realize it's impossible to fix them <laughs> yeah <laughs> I realize there's no problem yeah. it doesn't matter how much time you have and you, 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 you get a split don't have it. anyway <laughs> just, just drink that's all yeah. <laughs> so where is your wine? Your wine is finished. That's it is. Moment. I finished it. You didn't see me. I guzzled the whole thing. Yeah. Actually, this is from last night. I, my, I right, forgot okay. to clean up from last night. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think Jürgen is lucky to have kids at home because it fills in a certain amount of the day and gets you stopped thinking about yourself. And I'm just here with Gabby. And I think it's very unfair to be with one person. I feel very so sorry for her to be with me. There's no oh. relief. Hi, There's, Gabby. No, seriously, it is it is yep. brutal. And we thought about we we thought about going to Australia early on, and we decided to stay here because our daughter is here. But then we realised we'd be quarantined in a hotel there for two weeks, and if we were literally in the same room for two weeks, we'd probably kill each other. So. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish we had kids here just to kind of break it up and 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 to force me into more structure because the only thing that I'm doing that's very structured at the moment is working out and I'm taking a break from playing and I'm enjoying that and a little bit like Jürgen said when I come back in and I get get uh, renewed a little bit I want to I want to start with better habits that's my resolution. Well, but you know, yeah, good. Harold yeah. is actually, you, you've had to completely isolate yourself, haven't you? Yeah, um, the National Health Service here oh. and the government uh, highlighted those who are um, vulnerable. And I'm one of them because of my health history, um, being having gone through cancer for uh, nine and a half years, um, quite a while ago now. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm one of the high risk um uh, of getting severe complications if I were to get ill. So yeah, we were told 12 weeks minimum um, self-isolate. So I've not been- Oh, well, good luck. Yeah. Right. That's huge. Wow. I'm but I saw, you, I saw you playing the trombone out the window last night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's turned into a bit of a, every Thursday evening in the UK, we, we do a clap for our carers and um, I'm sure oh, it's the world. Um, 
So uh, yeah, it's turned into a bit of a mini concert now on our street. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You that's know, you, great. There are so many people watching. We've got uh, we've got Tokyo. Good morning from Tokyo. Greetings from Los Angeles. Greetings from literally all over the world. It's uh, uh, Jürgen Barbara says hello from uh, New York to you. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Hey. Um, and uh, Daniel wants to know why isn't Professor Mulcahy wearing his tucks and tails like he does during studio class? Because oh, well. His horn hanging <laughs> <laughs> what is all that, that about? That, that did happen once. I was trying to <laughs> elevate the situation. But uh, <laughs> you do what you do. Actually, I have a serious question for anyone that's teaching remotely. And that is, is anyone having success to teach a whole lesson live? I have found that that is too compromised. And what what, I, what we're doing is having a, a pretty substantial amount of pre-recorded material, which I pre-evaluate. And then we get together because the quality is better. But has anyone got a system of doing the whole thing live? Is it working? No. Jürgen was. Well, are, you, you're, are you doing everything live, Jürgen? I'm doing both. I ask them to send me recordings because that, of course, the, 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 the quality is much better and they can take time to, to make a record. And we have live sessions where we speak about the recordings. And That's if they play then live for me, then it's, I think it's, more, it's not so much about the trombone playing itself because this is very difficult to judge the sound and everything. But we speak more about the pieces and about the background of things. And, and we talk much more than in normal lessons, I think. Yeah. Is there no one who really has, has got a clue of that, that sound thing? Because there must be a possibility to get the sound proper somehow. Some the system. problem is the gear that on both sides. You know, they have yeah, the, 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 the on both sides. connection yeah. and the microphones on both sides. And sometimes uh, yeah. it works. Some students, they have a possibility, but some are stuck somewhere where they don't have their, their better stuff. And they, uh, they just have a phone. And, I find and it have to go to auto leveling you were saying yeah. this morning you do it only with recordings right sorry you said this morning you were doing it only with recordings I do it only with recordings so i meet with the students once a week sort of live and i talk for 10 to 15 20 minutes about how they're getting on discuss what they're going to be practicing what they what they found easy what you know and also to evaluate evaluate how they're feeling emotionally because this is a difficult time for, for a lot of them you know particularly the ones in spain that they just can't go out at all and and so then I get them to send recordings and I try and encourage them to send me something um, if possible every day, even if it's only a short thing. And and then I play the recording in the background and I talk over the recording kind of real time because I'm finding what I'm what I'm learning and, and really benefiting a lot from is a student is working so hard to play a phrase or to play a passage that if you say you know what you did on that note there, you know, where you manipulated the sound in the, and they don't know, they forget it was gone. It was long gone. But with the recording, you can say this, what you're doing there, do more of this, do less of that, keep it going more this way. And I'm having really great results with it. And I'm sure that I'm going to take this further, even when we're released on this lockdown. You know, There's one other yeah. thing we are doing is, is group sessions, because one of the things the students miss, I think, and I miss, is, is having the class together and having, so we cannot do ensemble. So we, we do warm ups together, even though of course I don't listen to all of them, but we do over Zoom like we are now. Uh, I play some exercise and they play back and I share with some classes of some, uh, some of my colleagues in Rotterdam, The Hague. And so sometimes we have 60, 70 people joining in on Zoom to, to do warm ups together. And we do, instead of ensemble class, we do, uh, just a, a, a talking session with the students, we address such subject, we talk about breathing or slight technique or also we, we pick a few recordings every week that everybody has to listen to, the same piece, uh, three different recordings and we discuss it. So we use the time different to, to, to learn. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's great. By the way, yes, for a nice fire. Thank you very much. A and boy scout as a he, you guys we have to congratulate Jesper he's just become a dad yay, yay. yay. six weeks ago a baby girl wow. oh. so I'm actually spending my time away from the trombone and enjoying my little family here of course beautiful <laughs> yeah.
Nice time. What's her name? What's her name? Nice. Esther. Esther. Like like uh, Esther La Vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And and Charlie, oh, you're it's... back. I thought you were having a little snooze. No, no, it something happened, and all I saw was a white uh, picture of a head. So. <laughs> okay. yeah, I have... Jasper, congratulations. Thanks, Charlie. I haven't seen you in such a long time. And there, yeah, uh, there, there's several people that I that I don't know. I mean, of course, uh, uh, Jorgen and uh, um, Jorgen. Ian, <laughs> but Carol, I've never met Carol. And I've never met uh, David. No. Uh, and I've never met, uh, what is that? That's the picture of you, Charlie. <laughs> Never met yourself. <laughs> it's terrible. It's, yeah, it's nice to meet everybody here. I think that's nice to meet you, Charlie. Likewise. It, it's an amazing group of people, and it's uh, we're all. I, I talked to Stefan the other day. We're all in this together, and we're all trying to figure out. You know what to do with our um, with our time with ourselves. You know we're all most of us are practicing and we're doing the teaching thing. It's interesting to hear how you guys are doing. I'm doing the same thing. I'm sure Mike is doing the same thing. With they send recordings, you listen and you send something back or talk about it. But it, the main thing I like is when we get together as a bunch and they're all on the screen. And I just go in and check in with everybody. How are you doing? What are you doing? All this kind of stuff all down the line. And it's a great thing uh, for all of us. And it's, you know, how often, I mean, we have never done this. I mean, I've never seen all you guys at one time like this in, 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 a, in a picture, you know, Ian. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. So there are some good things about this, uh, not, you know, for, for, you know, for the obvious reason, but there horrible things for the other part of it too. But at any rate, I'm having a great time uh, seeing everybody and uh, everybody looks so good. I like your hair, Stefan, it's great. <laughs> and um, and uh, anyhow, it's great seeing everybody. Mike, I hope you're doing okay. You and Gabby are, you know. Thank not... you. <laughs> I mean, when you're with somebody in the same house for quite a long time like it's this. Big. It's big. It's a big deal, and but yeah. thank God I've yeah. got my son Gary here, yeah. who's a yeah. who's a yeah. trained killer, and he can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's great seeing all of you guys. It really oh, is. This is wonderful. See you too, Tony. I mean, Amen. It's, it's, it's great. You know, it's quite I, interesting to see trombonists because I saw the trumpet one, and the trumpets yeah. are different in character because Definitely. at the time. When they see each other, they talk, talk, they talk in their mouths. And, and, and here it's like everyone is standing back and getting so by uh, very sort of wow. You know, yeah. when I saw this, when the last time I had this session, I just put it out with this double G we played. And got, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I did the crown and it crashed the face. And it's like, oh, yeah, but it's a gig, it's a gig, 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 gig. What I'm mouthpiece? I'm really proud of this. Uh, this uh, what mouthpiece are you using, right? The, what mouthpiece? Joe, for instance. Joe, you're sitting there. You're so, you're, you're fantastic. You've always been a very modest man. and But, I mean, uh, we know what you can do speak more we want to hear oh, more from you oh i'm just i'm just enjoying listening to everybody and, and uh, <laughs> yeah it's the trumpet one was you know i mean, i was a trumpet player i come from a family of trumpet players and i and i respect trumpet players and i actually wanted to be a trumpet player at one point but um so but it's a very different hang you know because you're right <laughs> There, I, I actually wrote a question in and said, who can play to that trumpet, you know, horn hang on? I said, who can play the fastest, the loudest? <laughs> I'm sorry, I only saw that afterwards. The question yeah. was coming in so quickly. Yes, but here we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> no, we, we know. We don't, we don't have to say anything, you know, so. Well, what, tell me, what do trombone players, or maybe I shouldn't even ask live on the air, because, you know, the horn players, we actually, everyone had brought something to drink. We had a hamster. We had two dogs. We had all sorts of things going on, and 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 by the time we got to the end of the hangout, I said to Stefan Yatsilski, "Where's your wine?" He went, "Gone." It was Thank brilliant. <laughs> and and the trumpets, the trumpets were 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 very lively. Oh my goodness, it was really very lively. Um, so what would trombone 
players normally talk about when you all meet? Do you talk about mouthpieces? Well, no. notice, notice, no. notice, no. notice, we started, we started the meeting late. That's exactly what we do. We're always a little bit late, you know. So you see my mouthpiece, you know that I'm not talking about it. This one here is I'll sell it for uh fifty dollars. <laughs> um, there's gonna be some takers for that. Niels, Niels, yours looks very gold. Uh, Charlie, yours is filthy. These are oh, no, wait, this is a contrabass, this is a tuba mouthpiece, actually. So <laughs> huge. <laughs> I clean mine now. Then, no? I mean, salt as looks great. Uh, I got a trumpet mute. If anybody... <laughs> wow, that looks like a Japanese rice cracker, you know, with the sort of yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's I mean, you know, no, what Nothing is it, Sultan? Tell me. I mean, listen, everybody watching, we're all nerds and we want to know this stuff. What is that? Why has it got a what's that mileage plus? Oh, you can forget that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. It's over. <laughs> What's that? Oh, oh, it's my daughter's coloring thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, show and tell. Bring it on. Bring hey, it on. So we got to come, show on, come on, show time. Go, go for it now. You, you're an entertainer. Come on with some uh, fun trombone joke. Or Oh, oh, no. Plus, no <laughs> is completely crazy. When I'll they... sell these for seven dollars. <laughs> oh, there! Look at that. There you go. Come you on. Know, okay. You know they they send these things just to make us feel important, but it means you yeah. know, it's a piece of plastic. You know, uh, is, absolutely. I can't see it. What is Chief it? Sultan, how about your favorite trombone joke? Not the one about the. Well, you know the one I mean. Those. Oh. <laughs> I don't know which one you mean because there are many what you don't want to hear. Uh, <laughs> no, I just recently I heard a joke that what's the difference between Wuhan and Las Vegas? And the answer is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So that's what oh. Oh. oh, that's not a trombone. Oh, we got to keep it tromboney. We're not talking about the virus anymore. Oh, I don't know. Tromboney jokes. No, Tara, you remember we talked about a joke the other day that we shouldn't mention. Of course, you're going to mention it, right? No, right? No, we will not. <laughs> no, no, no. So, no, I actually, I, uh, so this you reminded me that we're going to do talk about. <laughs> Yeah, but it's the one thing that I, I'm gonna go and visit Christian, and I'm going to do his uh, daily routine. You will do it together. But I'm gonna do it on my way. So I'm gonna pull in right all together. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Christian. Take us through the workout right now. Absolutely, you are. You're all uh, Whenever you will, want to go, go with the workout, you can come. I should yeah, love to zoom all together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at now, right now. Now, now. what we want. Okay. It's, uh, on, why don't we start with the last part, Christian? Yeah. The, the one the we start drinking. Part. Yeah, the last part. Ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking the, the ceremony. Okay. Oh, backwards. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the last step. That's the last step. <laughs> oh, we can do the seven minute work, workout. That's yeah. it's all God. No. Oh, God. Oh, you guys, we've got some bad jokes coming in. Kevin says, what, what do you call a guy who knows how to play a trombone and doesn't? A gentleman. A gentleman. gentleman. Uh, 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 it's, 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 it came from the accordionist. It's not a trombone okay. joke. Oh. And um, Christian, Adam Hanna says hi. Oh, Adam. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hi, Adam. Good to you and, uh, and your friend to come here. Kelton. Yeah. Kelton, is he proud of Kelton? Isn't yeah, that hey, Kelton. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Very proud Wild of Wildcats. Wow. Kelton's the second trombone in Vienna. It's so well with Very, very proud. Niels. Yes. You're very quiet. Well, qu tell us a well, story. You know, I'm just sitting here listening to all these wonderful people talking. So, uh, you know, and as Christian just marked, we are respectful you know, people, we trombone players. So we wait for the other ones to talk. Uh, but I can talk forever if you'd like to. Well, well, please start. I'll stop you when we're bored. Okay, good. Well, I'll tell you what, you know. Right, um, question? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Great. 
I've been I've been here for a month now, where I live in the south of Sweden, and I have never been at home uh, that many days in uh, in 22 years. So uh, um, it's kind of a, a good practice for for you know for the for the rest of of my life at home because I guess we're going to stay at home for a long time, and me and my wife will get along very well, and we don't have any kids, but we we still get along very well, or even without. And we fill the days with a lot of lot of stuff, and suddenly it's nine o'clock, and I get to talk to all these trombone players, mm -hmm. and which is great. I can do this every night. Yeah, we'll do it again. <laughs> We're in for the long haul, I think. Carol, what do you think? Should we set it up again? Yeah, totally. How many more people can you get in? <laughs> I did. A, I did a Zoom thing yesterday for the Horns of Latin America. There were oh, three hundred people in the Zoom room. Wow. Okay. There were you and you you could you there's I don't know how many on it, but you can I had 12 pages, you scrolled through them of, of people listening to you talk about whatever mouthpieces. So that is huge. Zoom allows 300 people in, but then it gets a little bit uh, a little bit uh, complicated. <laughs> I want to say something about you know about Nils because there is a challenge here to be made to Nils and his friend, because they have the Guinness World Record of playing trombone duets. How long, how many hours? We played 24 hours. Wow. Anyone who wanted to do 25 then? <laughs> it was really stupid, I have to say. And we, we, we even, we, did, we made half an hour warm up before we started. <laughs> we count that in. Yeah, if you play for 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's dumb, but but we did, and we got into the book, and we were there for ten, I think, ten years or something before they thought it was like too stupid to be in there, and that has to be really stupid to get out of that book. I remember uh, with Charlie the the giant quartet session we had up at uh, Lake Luzerne. It started. Yeah. It, it went on for two days. I think <laughs> yeah, like every started in the morning and then you, you know, break for lunch and then have a barbecue later and then keep playing. And then the next morning it just went into the night and then just, it was like 48 out, 48 hours of nonstop trombone quartets. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. So you actually broke the record with, with a 24 hours. Spawn years. <laughs> and who, who else was playing with you? Mar uh, Mark Lawrence was there. Mark Lawrence, what? right? I think Steve and, Morell was there, maybe. Steve Morell, it was the four of us. Yeah. Yeah. Were you guys rotating parts or just staying on first room all the time? I think there were other people uh, that would come in, and but it was it was just a revolving door of quartets, you know, for two days. But it was, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> what happened to your quartet, your Stefan? You you guys were in the world trombone quartet and when I, I was meant to do a hangout with you guys and only two of you showed up <laughs> yeah. what's, what's with that what happened to that oh. Stefan what's going on with your quartet with the quartet no, yeah we this were is nothing right now nothing right another one we, we all... trouble, oh. <laughs> all right yeah 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 sure Stefan come on so, yeah, yeah okay <laughs> Um, no, no, we, we did we did our concerts and we we had uh, Jürgen had some contacts for the future so we are hoping to to catch it's it's difficult to get everybody together but this CD we did um, was um, really uh, just motivated by practicing a week together and preparing two concerts. And um, and finally, um, when we finished the CD, we we um, were hoping to get more and more concerts, but it's very difficult to find the the opportunity with flying in, flying out in normal life. Yeah. Now, yeah. But I'm I the Dienstein Tyler, Stefan. So you should just keep French with me. You know. <laughs> Jesper does all the all the rostering. So if Stefan has to be nice to Jesper, that's. <laughs> But, but it's Stefan, like I have deal to making. It's a little deal making then. During the season, Stefan practices more than any of us. Like you, you really, I'm not exaggerating, Jesper, am I? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're lucky enough to have a hotel room on tour next to Stefan, <laughs> Stefan, this, are you practicing? This is, 
Yeah, okay. I listen to you. Yeah. Are you practicing three hours a day now? If I practice so much now? Yeah. Now, if, I think it's funny that, um, that, that you are saying this, but okay. <laughs> I, I, will, I will let you in this, let's say, thought. Um, <laughs> so I, my daily, my, of course, I, I like very much to practice at these times. I realized that for me, it comes to the for a perfect timing. Not having a concert at evening or something to prepare like a recital and just practicing without any pressure and organizing myself with no limit of time. That means, but that means not that I practice all day. I, I have my daily routine like I always do in the morning, which I like very much. It's more like meditation. And then I continue with keeping myself uh, sportive and and then I do the same like Ian in the way of teaching. My students send me every day a 10 minutes recording and I listen to them in the afternoon. And then at around six o'clock I call them or we have a WhatsApp um, conversation. I, I, decide, I, I thought it is, it's good to, to have a contact um, every day from Monday to Friday, and even just 10 minutes. And then with the conversation a little longer, because I mean, I'm, Charlie and me, we were talking about this already. We have, we all of us here have a very extraordinary possibility. Most of us have a house or has a place where, where they can practice. But when I've been thinking on my students, they sitting alone in a very small apartment and have um, um, the, difficult situation to, to practice, the neighbors are next to them. And so I was thinking to, um, I think the important is to just keep contact and socializing and yeah, um, yeah and, and trying to, to continue the, the way we are thinking in this crazy time. So this is, this is um, a little bit about my daily. And then I, of course, I have my daughter and enjoy to have time. I say the same like everybody of you. It's, it's the same situation. I mean, to be at home such a long period uh, and not traveling and have, have time to repair things and decorate different things and enjoy. <laughs> it's, this is um, luxus, luxury. And, and Stefan, Shelley Rakowski just wrote, Stefan plays in the orchestra like his life depends on it. It is inspirational to watch. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley, for that. Um, no, wise words. A very interesting qu question came in for any of you that wants to take this one from Dan Morris in Colorado. He says, do you think this time away from everyone, from each other, will bring the humanity back into the arts? I couldn't have asked the trumpets that last week. Quite possible. I think that's quite oh, possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, I think really, you know, that human to human contact, you know, the, the, the music is a communication art form. Recordings, no matter how good they are, should be what we listen to when you can't get to a concert. And I think that, that when this fires up again, I think it's really, really a great new start for us. Your podcast, Ian, was very interesting because you actually, you were talking about that. That's yeah. exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. About, about the, actually the, this, this music, this live experience. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, <laughs> I, I think we have we have an obligation to come back as if our life depended on it, like right. in the orchestra, you know, and and we have to make the concerts like the old days, you know. We have to play like like they played for Heine and like they played for Zell, but without having a bastard conducting, you know. We have to we have to do that without the tyrant and and right, you know, absolutely. I mean, that's, right. Well, yeah, right. Yes. I mean, in Chicago, you've got, you've got Muti there, you know. I mean, of all of the guys that can do that in the U.S., he's the man, you know, he's great. Yep, he's fantastic. We have him for a while. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It is very inspiring, actually, seeing these days all the people posting videos, playing live concerts for others to enjoy in their quarantine homes. Uh, in my case, I'm from Spain, and seeing how bad the situation is right now in the country, seeing all these musicians every single night going out in the balconies and playing for for their neighborhoods 
it's, yeah. it's really touching. And I think people is really appreciating more and more music and arts and entertainment industry in general. I mean, we still didn't talk about Netflix, but we'll have to do it at some point. Uh, so being entertained uh, is something that people is really putting into context and into value these days, I think. Do you think there's a danger? No, so it's very, very exciting to see how dependent we are on each other and how much communication means to us. And communi music is about communication because the fact that Sarah does this for the first time, I mean, we have yes. been to meet each other, the, 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 the 13 of us, we are 13. We have been able to meet each other by going to each other and meet, but we didn't do it. But now we see that when we're forced to isolation, we actually need each other. Yeah. And we Thank yes. you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. No. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Incredible. Well, yeah, we always, I think I grew up, you know, listening most of you guys, not the, not the younger ones. I mean, not the, you know, uh, hey, wait, wait a the, the young tigers, <laughs> I mean, the, the lions, I listened oh, to the lions. Oh. I grew up and, and it was always very important. And, and uh, I think the music always been there as a language. So, you know, uh, you guys, everybody's representing, it's not, we, we, we tend to, to, I think it was prejudice or tend to say like, oh yeah, this is English style, this is Swedish style, this is American, this is, the, this is no, this, they're, they're human beings. And, and uh, I think that English tradition or that, or that Swedish tradition or that, I don't know, Hungarian tradition or whatever is a Russian tradition. I think it's just, just a color, just a flavor in, but it's not define who you are. It's, it's, it, I think it's the, 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 I think the nationals is it's very important, but it's not uh, for me was actually quite interesting to hear. Ah, it's wow, that's how they play over there. But but I was more interested that person. That, that person has something to say, and it was always beautiful. I was amazed, and you guys showed me that it is possible and pick it up and and do what you think. And do what you love, and and and, and you, you 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 get to places. And I I meant I'm not want to get to places to be here now today, <laughs> but but it's it's uh, for me was to get to places, uh, to travel, and to play in front of people and make them happy, and through making them happy, make myself happy, or the other way around. You know, is this the energy? And that's what's missing now. There's no energy exchange. And this is like now we are hanging. I feel a lot of these little stories, and who, how they, who, who, how, how, how they feel, is uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's reassuring that everything is fine. And for me, it's very special. Just to, I feel like a fly looking at all these, all these little pictures at the same time. Yeah, it's great. And it's just oh, beautiful that we can all connect. And then, and i most of you guys, we we all had a hang. And, I do uh, feel that um, we're very lucky, and it's been true of my whole life, that trombone players have always sought each other out. And every time I travel somewhere, or every time someone comes to Chicago or wherever, we always find each other. And we have such affection for each other. And humanly, there's always been a particular warmth. And actually, I've seen other other parts of the orchestra say, what is it with you trombone players? You get together, it's the break. Why are you hanging out? I, I can remember doing some stuff with Joe. We did a project together and there was a bunch of trombone players from different orchestras and all the trumpet players went out for coffee and stuff. And we got together and said, so what's you, what are you practicing? What are you doing with your students and stuff? And so we learn so much from each other and we value each other so much. I mean, I, I just, it's sad that this situation has underlined how much we mean to each other. And like all of you, I'm grateful to Sarah for making this platform to bring us together. And uh, I know the next time I travel somewhere or you travel here, I know I'll see you and I'll know 
I'll be excited. I'll be richer for the experience and I'll actually learn something. I always learn something and it's, it's such a, such a blessing. I'll drink to that. You guys drink to that? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, <coughs> I miss, I remember the warm ups we did together. That was, that was yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. That was in, uh, yeah, in, in Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys and gals, we've been on the line. We've been online for one hour. It's really, it, it just flew past. And on Facebook, there's so many people right here. You must have a look on the chat, on the chat and see who's, where people are watching from and what they've been writing in. Please continue to write in for us right on the website. But we've got to wrap this up at some point. But I did promise on every Horn Hangout we've done, we've done a selfie, a global selfie. And I want to see these selfies. Actually, who's got their trombone? Has anyone got their trombone nearby oh, we oh yeah Tim, where's oh, see, i got to reach right here that's it Hanson, Tim, where are you we need a selfie there you are i, I made <laughs> Please hashtag them, send them to us. We want to see them. Instagram, whatever, Facebook, you know, you know how to do it. We want to see them. Ready? Ready for this? Global trombone selfie. One, two, three. Yay. <laughs> Christian has two. Trust Christian, he has two drinks. And two trombones. Of course. Of course he does. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse Tim, ah, Sultan has two. As well. I love the little mini one, Sultan. That's very cute. I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the sky here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I may, something. I just, I just, uh, as a, as a, as a, it's a great opportunity also to, to, I like to advertise one thing. Oh, I knew it. Ah, right. Uh, no. So I think there's one, one thing uh, is that it's uh, there's an idea came up from here. Um, there's this I call it the stay at home international or global trombone competition based only on sending in videos. Yeah, go for it. And I would like to have the possibility to to say that if anybody interested. And now all you guys, if you're interested to take part, uh, some of you I already contacted about this. Send in your videos, yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> and if, if you would send your videos in, I, I'm going to judge who, who, is, who is who, really. Wait, yeah. which, uh, and I'm going to rearrange the pictures to the audio. Um, is, no, the whole is there an age limit? It's only the age limit is, I wonder, <laughs> like, for 12 years old, 16, 18, no, no, no. students, seniors, okay. intermediate players, jazz players. Many little yeah. categories, and then just to have a challenge. Well, where can we find that information? Because right, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna post it soon okay. uh, through 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 my Facebook. But it's pretty much online trombone competition dot com. Great. Yeah. And Carol, so, thank you so much for doing all the promotion. I will try to contact you guys, all of you who I didn't yet. Yeah. Carol, so thanks for the well. trombone promotion because I couldn't reach any. I only have horn players, so thank you for for helping out with that. And you stay safe, please. Come. When are you allowed out? When am I allowed out? Um, well, the UK have just had an extra three weeks lockdown, so, um, and I think I'm beyond that. I think I'm the end of June, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> good luck, Carol. How about, should we meet up again? We'll meet up again, we'll meet up again and keep your spirits up. Good luck. Okay. So, yeah. good luck with I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I keep my slippers on all day. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're How awesome. was the end? <laughs> Do you have pants on? <laughs> I have mine. <laughs> Who has pants on? We had this discussion on the trumpet on the trumpet. But <laughs> Joe? Who does what? Oh uh, yes. Who has pants, pants on? on? Oh, I do. Well, you'll you'll have to just figure uh, that out. Nils, you have your okay. In England, <laughs> pants mean underwear, so uh, we won't go into that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'm sorry we didn't make it out to New York. I'm sorry that all got cancelled. Yeah. Yes, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna re resurrect that again for sure. Yeah, I reckon next April we'll be out there because you were meant to be coming over to. We were gonna come to you. Right, I was, I was exactly. Come. Yeah, yeah. We were supposed to leave next week, I think, or two weeks. 
Yeah, we're meant to be in New York now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I it's love your cool. studio, by the way. Yeah, nice studio. Very cool. Yeah, what what do you have there? What do you have in there exactly? Um, Apollo Eight audio interface. Um, okay. I've got a thirty-eight inch monitor. Um, wow. I've got four mics. I'm loving it. I've actually it's got really busy with online recording. It's, yeah. I mean, studios are closed. So I've got I've just done a thing with Beverly Knight and Joss Stone yesterday. Um, got a TV advert tomorrow. Loads of voiceover work right there. So yeah. Wow. I'm loving how busy it's got. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, please, all of you take really good care. I'm honored to be a horn player in your presence. I adore you all. And I'm very, very honored and humbled that you all showed up tonight. And I think we should just do it again. And I hope that the, the, Hangout, the Hangout community thinks that as well. I'm sure they do. Have a look at what's going on in the chat. It's crazy. Love you all. And, uh, Thank you, Sarah. Love you too. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. I love everybody out there. Yeah. 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 Total, great. Total respect. Total respect for everybody. Thanks, everyone. Total. Bye. Absolutely.